and now intruder is trying each password from the word list and perfect as you can see we already got a hit so the expression new passwords do not match was found when this password was tried so now we know this is the password let's actually access carlos account using that exact password which is one two three four five six seven eight hey guys and welcome to my channel in today's video i'll be showing you how hackers are able to exploit website weaknesses and hack into user accounts we will cover how to brute force passwords via a password change vulnerability that exists on that website and we'll be using tools that are used by real life hackers such as burp suite your support means a lot to me so if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more content like this let's dive into the video all right so i have my kali linux running in here let's open up the firefox browser and here i have portswigger.net website opened now in case you haven't heard of portswigger they provide a bunch of cybersecurity products and solutions and for today's video we will use their academy lab to practice pen testing safely so they will essentially provide us with vulnerable websites that we can practice hacking on for free and without any legal issues we will also be using another tool made by portswigger which is called burp suite and burp suite comes pre-installed with Kali Linux so if I go to the applications menu and search for burp suite you'll see it right here let's click on it to open it now burp suite is a huge tool with many features that can be used by pen testers and security professionals for now let's use a temporary project so I'll hit next and click on start burp to start it okay here that's fine and here we have burp suite running now for this video we will use the proxy feature as well as the intruder feature that exists within burp suite the proxy feature allows us to intercept http requests and responses and by doing that we will be able to modify each request that we send to the target server individually and after intercepting that request we will be using the intruder feature to execute the brute force attack on the web application and for all of this to work we will need a proxy to be configured you can either manually configure an external browser to work with the proxy or you can simply click on open browser in here and this browser would be automatically configured for you by burp suite and as you can see this is the browser that is supported by burp suite but for me i prefer using an external browser which is firefox so if you want to use firefox instead of the burp suite browser make sure that the proxy settings are correct and i will include some links in the description that will guide you on how to configure it manually but again you are more than welcome to use the default burp suite browser for this video as it will operate exactly the same cool now we have burp suite running and ready to go let's open the lab from the port swigger website and to access these labs we first need to create an account with them so i will hit on login in here in case you don't have an account with them you can create one from here as well and the account creation process is very simple you would provide your email in here click on register they would send you an email to access your password and once you have that password come back here to the login page put in your email paste the password that they provided and click on login and once you are logged in into your account we can now access the lab that we will use for this video and you can access that lab in many ways for me i'll just go to academy click on all labs i'll control f in this page and do via password and here we have the lab that we want to work on and by the way i will include the link for this lab in the description of this video so all you have to do is click on this link and it will redirect you to this page so this is the lab the password brute force via password change and as you can see they even provided us with some information such as the account we will log in from the victim's username as well as the word list that we will use to brute force that account I will actually right click that word list and open it in a new tab and here we have the full word list don't close this tab yet because we will come back to it later on in the video let's go back to the lab and the main goal here is for us as hackers is to brute force carlos account 
and access Carlos account with the brute force password. This might not be a typical brute force attack because in this case we will use the brute force attack via a password change vulnerability. So let me show you how this can be done. I will right click the access this lab and open that in the new tab as well. And here is the fake website. So again, you can treat this web application as a normal real life website that in this case vulnerable for a password change authentication method and port swigger does an amazing job at mimicking real websites so we can practice on so as you can see this is a blog website that has multiple posts and you can actually browse the website as if you were a normal user but in our case we are here to try to hack into carlos account and again we can do that by using the password change method so first let's go back to the main page scroll up and i will click on my account to log in using the credentials that they provided us and the username that they gave us is wiener so it's w-i-e-n-e-r and the password is peter p-e-t-e-r and again we can go back to the lab description and we have the credentials in here let's go back to the fake website let's hit on login and cool, we are now logged in as Wiener. And as you can see, we can update the email for this account. And most importantly, we can change our password from here as well. Now it's time to intercept any request that is being sent to this website. So we can see what is going on behind the scenes. Let's go back to Burp Suite. And I will put it on the right side of the screen. And the browser on the left side. Just like that. Cool. And once again, don't forget to set up the proxy if you are using an external browser like I am. So I'll go to settings, scroll down to network settings, and click on manual proxy configuration. Use the correct IP address and the port number, and click on OK. You don't have to do this if you are using the Burp Suite browser. I'm gonna close this tab, and now we are ready. So once again, we are interested in the change password functionality on this website. And we know that there is an existent vulnerability in here that would allow us to change the password for a different account than the one we are logged in as. So let's try changing the password and see how it works. Our current password for our account is Peter. And I want to change the password to Peter and number one. I will confirm the new password by typing it again. And let's go to Burp Suite and turn on the interceptor by clicking on the intercept button. And again, I am in the proxy tab and click on intercept here to turn the interceptor on. Let's go back in here and I will click on change password to send this request. And cool, we can see that HTTP request in Burp Suite. We can see the host name, the session ID and other information that can be valuable as well. But since we are testing this functionality, I will forward this request as is. So I'll click on forward in here. And we can see that the password has been changed successfully. I will keep forwarding these requests as well. Now let's click on back here and let's forward that request as well. And here we are back at the my account page. So now we have seen how the functionality works when we put in the correct current password. But what happens if we input two different passwords that do not match in these two fields? Well, let's find out. And by the way, we are doing this to check what response we will get from the web application when we put in new passwords that don't match. I'm actually going to turn off the interceptor for now since we are only testing this functionality. And for the current password, we know it's going to be Peter1 because we changed the password from Peter to Peter1. And for the new password, I will put in 123. And in the second field, I will put in a different password. In this example, I will put in 123456. So if this website has been programmed correctly, we should receive some type of an error after we hit change password. And cool, we got an error saying new passwords do not match. Now let's try putting a wrong current password and see what error will we get. So for the current password, I'll put in Peter100. The new password would be 123. And this will be 123456 once again to make it a mismatch password. So this time we put in an incorrect current password and new passwords that don't even match.
and we will see if we get the same error or a different one hit on change password all right we got a different error this time saying current password is incorrect so this means that if we use an incorrect password we will get this type of error regardless if we use new passwords that match or not on the other hand if we put in the correct password which is peter1 but new passwords that don't match and this example would be 123 and 123456 then we will get the first error that we got which is new passwords do not match and by knowing these two errors we can establish that if we intercept this request with burp suite and change the username to carlos we can actually brute force this password by using the change password method so let's see exactly how we can do that i will turn on the interceptor from burp suite and for the current password i will put in peter1 the new password will be 123 and 123456. Hit on change password. And we can see the username, the current password, as well as the new passwords in here as well. And since we are trying to break into Carlos account, so I'm going to delete Weiner and put in Carlos in here. Next, we'll send this HTTP request to the intruder, which is the functionality that exists within Burp Suite that will help us brute force the password. I will right click in this space and click on send to intruder. This will send the request to the intruder tab. And if we click on the intruder tab, we will see the request we just sent. I'm gonna hit on clear in here to clear all of the current markers and I will put in a marker to the current password field. So I will highlight the password Peter1 and I will come back here and click on add to add a marker in this field. And we can see these two symbols, meaning that this field will be used to input passwords from the word list that we will provide. And to give intruder the word list, let's click on the payloads tab in here. And this is the space where we put in the words that we want to use. And remember, they already gave us a word list. So I'll go back to the word list tab. And looks like we need to turn off the proxy. So let's go to proxy and turn off the interceptor. And cool, here we got the word list. I will copy all of the words in this word list. And go back to the intruder tab from Burp Suite. And click on paste to paste in the word list. And the last thing we need to do here is to tell the intruder to look for a specific error code whenever a new password is tried. So let's click on the options tab and from the grep match hit clear to clear all of the existing flags. Click yes to confirm and we want to flag the error code new passwords do not match. Because remember when we used peter1 with passwords that do not match we will get this specific error. Now think of it as a rule. If the current entered password is incorrect, we will get a response from the website saying current password is incorrect. But if we use the correct password, we will get an error saying new passwords do not match. And that's what we are looking for. Because if we see that error on Carlos account, we will know that we have guessed the correct password. And by the way, the correct password is already in this list. We just need to find it. So I'll copy this error expression and let's paste it in the grep match field. Click on here and paste it in this field. Click on add to add it. Now intruder will look into the HTTP response. So it will actually scan the whole packet. And if this expression is found, it will actually let us know. Let's go back to the positions tab in here to go over the attack one more time. So we got this HTTP request from this web application. And we are trying to guess the password for this username account, which is called Carlos. And we told Intruder where to put each password from the word list by adding these two symbols. And we purposely used new passwords that don't match to get an error called new passwords do not match. And that's how we will know that the password will be used from the word list is correct. So once you are ready, Hit on the start attack button to start the brute forcing process. Click on OK. And now Intruder is trying each password from the word list. And perfect, as you can see, we already got a hit on one of the passwords. 
let me click on that to see the request and response. So the expression new passwords do not match was found when this password was tried. That's why we see a number one in the new passwords do not match column. So here we have this exact request for this password. Let me scroll down in the request and we can see that this exact password has been tried, which is inputted by intruder once again. And if we click on response and let's scroll down a bit, we can see on line 53, we can see that new passwords do not match error. That's how we got this number one in here. So intruder scanned this whole response and it actually found the expression new passwords do not match. And again, we gave it this expression. So we told it to look for this expression. And once intruder found it, it actually told us that I found this expression when this password was tried. By the way, this password might be different from the one you will find on your end because the website usually changes the password for Carlos to keep it up to date. So now we know this is the password. Let's actually access Carlos account using that exact password, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I will minimize this and I will go to proxy and turn off the interceptor. Let's go here and I'm gonna click on my account to refresh this page and let's log out. So I'll hit on log out. Now we are in the main page. Let's click on my account to log in. And here we have the login screen once again. This time I will log in as Carlos, C-A-R-L-O-S. And for the password, it will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And again, we got this password from Burp Suite. Hit on login. And awesome, as you can see, we have successfully logged in into Carlos account by brute forcing the password via a password change vulnerability. So we have full access to this account as if we were Carlos. And if this was a real website, an e-commerce website, for example, hackers would be able to purchase items without the owner even knowing, lock out the account and change the password for it and so many other possibilities that hackers are able to do at this stage. Now to secure yourself and your web application from these types of attacks, make sure you are using correct error handling methods by avoiding using specific details about the error that could assist the attackers in identifying the existing weakness. Also, make sure that you are implementing rate limiting on password change requests. This restricts the number of failed attempts from a single source within a specific time frame. And finally, requiring users to use MFA or multi-factor authentication would tremendously help mitigate this type of attacks. As you guys have seen, make sure your website is secure from these types of attacks. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more content like this.